Zoom. She's called Zoom. Here are scientists, Mark and Amy. Any question, they'll know what to do. Let's find out. Let's find out. All aboard the Curiosity. Let's find out. All aboard and let's find out. Protecting planet Earth. It's planting seed, Zoom. Every year, farmers and gardeners plant seeds in the ground and they grow into plants. You can plant seeds with machines or with your hands. Oh, I need to take a closer look. Hmm. Oh, I see the little seeds going into the ground. <laughs> Curiosity? Yes, Captain Zoom. Let's find out about seeds. Seeds come in all shapes and sizes. Some seeds are small. Some seeds are light and fluffy. But some can be very big. Humans like to cook and eat some seeds. And birds eat seeds too. But the main job of a seed is to turn into a plant. Plants grow from seeds. But where do seeds come from? They come from plants, and often from the fruit of a plant. Like, this apple is the fruit from an apple tree. And look, oh, a seed. Hey, is that a seed for an apple tree? So that's how it works. Oh, I wish I could see a seed turning into a plant. Well then, let's ask for help. Curiosity, search for some curious young humans, please. Certainly, Captain Zoom. <laughs> Located curious young humans. Ben and Danny. Okay, Curiosity crew, let's get going. Ben and Danny's school. Look, is that a spaceship? Yeah, I can see too. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Danny. Hi, Hi Zoom. Can you help us, please? Can you show Zoom how a seed turns into a plant? Yes, we can. Let's find out. OK, this experiment needs kitchen paper, cotton wool, two small jars, some water, and of course, some seeds. So what's the experiment, guys? We're, We're going, going to, to investigate, investigate how seeds grow. Danny is rolling up some kitchen paper and putting it into one of the jars. And now Ben is filling the jar with... <gasps> Teeny tiny clouds! No, Zoom, that's cotton wool. Now I'm going to put my seed in. Danny's planting a corn seed. Next, he sprays some water onto the cotton wool, which will soak it up until the seed needs it. Because seeds love water? That's right, Zoom. Seeds like these need three things to grow. Water, oxygen, and the right temperature. Now Ben's turn. He's got a sunflower seed. Can I pass you the spray? Very good. Now they have to give those seeds time to do some growing. Uh, how much time? About a week. Oh, that's ages! Patience, Zoom. Growing takes time. Mm. Look! What's happening? The seeds are sprouting, Zoom. The roots are growing down in search of food and water, and the stems are growing up towards the light. Wow! That's amazing! Time for Ben and Danny to check on their seeds. Have you seen the sunflower seed? It's even growing a leaf at the top. I can't believe that with just some light, heat and water, those tiny seeds could sprout. And now you know how a seed turns into a plant. Thanks, Ben and Danny. Your seeds have really grown on me. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Zoom. Let's find out. Today I asked about seeds. By turning into plants, they're what this planet needs. Oh, the way those 
those little plants just push up through the soil is awesome. How about this for more awesomeness, Zoom? See how the dandelions spread their seeds using the wind. <laughs> plants are so clever. And sometimes they can be explosive too. Look at this plant. They call it the touch-me-not. Watch, to spread its seeds, it... <gasps> explodes! <laughs> wow! You know, Zoom, plants have lots of unusual ways of spreading their seeds. Oh, so how do they do it? Well, let's find out. Hey, have you made your own flowers? Yes, Zoom, mechanical flowers. Now touch this one, please. <laughs> its seeds flew everywhere. And that's what the touch me not does. It flings its seeds around. Meet the violet plant, Zoom. Oh, how does it spread its seeds, Mark? Its pods dry up and the seeds shoot out. Let's pretend that these canisters with fizzy tablets inside are the seeds. Okay, now let's make sure the seeds are inside the super-sized plant pod. Now let's just wait a few seconds. dwarf mistletoe. Its seeds go flying when pressure builds up inside of it. So I'm going to pump up this flower to build up the pressure. And then... And there you go, Zoom. Three fantastic ways of spreading seeds. All inspired by real plants. Oh, well done, guys. Your flowers were exceedingly interesting. <laughs> Let's find out. Hey, Zoom, would you like to meet some animals who help spread seeds in a funny way? Uh, what funny way? With their poo. <laughs> With their poo? <laughs> Yes, yes, I would like to meet those animals. <laughs> Curiosity, set course for animals who spread seeds with their poo. <laughs> Setting course for animals who spread seeds with their poo. Okay, Curiosity, let's zoom around. Zoom, we're all out of brain power. We can't go on a trip without that. <gasps> Let's go back to Ben and Danny's school for help. Look, there they are. Hi, Zoom. Have you run out of brain power? Yes, we have. Would you be able to generate some more for us? Yes, we would. Well, then, it's time for a brain power challenge. When the power runs out, it's the brain power challenge. When we can't get a bow, it's the brain power challenge. Put our helmets on, got our brains feeling strong. Get the power back on. Brain power challenge. Yeah! Hey, everyone. Hi! Ben, Danny, brain power helmets on, please. Okay, we need you to help us by answering some questions so we can generate enough brain power to get the curiosity going again. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, question one. Ben, the part of a plant that can grow into a new plant is called what? Is it the seed, the weed, or the bead? Uh, seed. That's the right answer! Yeah! Yes! And look, you're already making brain power. Danny, 
here's your question. Which of these is a flower that spreads its seeds very well? Is it a sea lion, a mountain lion, or a dandelion? A uh, dandelion? That's the right answer! <laughs> Remember, always stay curious. Right, Zoom, now it's time to go on our trip. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, curiosity, let's zoom around. Arrived at Wildlife Park. I'm over here. <laughs> Let's go meet some animals who help to spread seeds with their poo. Good idea. <laughs> hey, lemurs. <laughs> I love lemurs. <laughs> oh, oh, do they spread seeds with their poo? Yes, they do, Zoom. And look here. This is lemur poo. Katrina is a ranger here in the wildlife park and she's going to examine it for us and see if there's any seeds in it. Hello, Katrina. Hello. This is not something you or I should ever do, is it, Mark? No, definitely not, Zoom. Mm -mm. Katrina's an expert, so it's safe for her to do it. And she's wearing special gloves, so... <laughs> Look, Mark. I think I can see some fruit in there. Those are yew berries from the yew tree zoom. Or as they call them here, poo berries. <laughs> poo berries, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> so lemurs eat the fruit from the tree and then poop out the seeds somewhere else and a new tree might start growing there. Zoom. She's gone. Maybe she didn't like looking at the poo. Zoom, where did you go? Mark, look at this! Tiny elephants with tiny trunks! <laughs> They're not tiny elephants, Zoom. They're tapirs. Huh? What's the ranger doing? Giving him a scratch. Tapirs love a good scratch. Oh, it does look very relaxing. Hey, don't you get any idea, Zoom? <laughs> did you know that tapirs are like superheroes where they come from? Oh, well, where do they come from? The rainforest. Tapirs live in the rainforest, and they eat lots of nuts and seeds from the trees that grow there. Oh, oh let me guess. Um, lots of those seeds end up in their poop. Exactly. Now, lots of trees have been cut down from the rainforest, but the good news is that tapirs like to poo in the places where the trees have gone. And that helps trees grow back in that area again. Exactly. <laughs> You know, Zoom, sometimes tapers get help from somebody else. Uh, somebody else? Uh, who? Dung beetles! Dung beetles eat tapir poo. They roll the poo up into balls and then bury the balls to keep them safe so they can eat them later. But some of them never get eaten and they grow into trees instead. Oh, <laughs> well, nice work, dung beetles. A nice work, tapirs. You humans really should be thankful for these animals. <laughs> And their poo. <laughs> Thanking you, animal poo. <laughs> right, I think it's time for us to get back to the curiosity. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I see a red squirrel eating a nut. Squirrels bury nuts and sometimes forget about them. And one of those nuts might grow into a tree. More plants and animals helping each other. Planet Earth is awesome! It sure is. But looking at that squirrel eating is reminding me that it's tea time. Oh yeah! Okay, curiosity, let's zoom around! Now I know something you Did some fun things with my curiosity crew and flew to lots of places Zooming around with Zoom Today I asked about seeds By turning into plants They're what this planet needs To spread seeds, did you know? Some plants can explode Seeds even hit your right in poo With 
some 